guys so today I just wanted to share this item that I have um, it's really good for moisturizing your hands um, it's the Etude House hand bouquet rich butter hand mask so as you can see it has step one here and step two here and I'll explain that later and then on the back it has this really cool chart um, it's like the acupoints in your hands that relate to various um, things in your body um, and it's really cool it gives you some tips of where to like massage but yeah let's open this up just so you can see um, what it looks like and the cool thing about this is that it has shea butter in it and I really love shea butter because it moisturizes so well um, and it also has aloe in it. If you guys have ever tried like Korean or Japanese face masks, it's kind of like that except for your hands and it comes with gloves. So I'm just going to open it up and it has like a little thing here where you just um, tear it. So this is side one. So it looks like this when you open it up. This is really moist and I'm just going to open the other side. And in here are some cute pink gloves. So I'm just going to put these on. And it's really fun like to pamper yourself like on the weekend. This is something nice that you could do while watching like a nice movie or something like that. So I'm going to put on these. And it's really, really moist. So yeah, that's it. You just apply the two sets of gloves. The first one has like um, essence in it, so it helps to moisturize your hands. And then the glove keeps all that moisture in. And you can like go on the computer, watch movies, do whatever you want. And when you take these off after like about 20 minutes, your hands should feel really like supple and moisturized. I wouldn't buy these like if you're not like gonna make an order with other things um they're not absolutely necessary because i have a way to diy your own hand masks but if you're in korea or if you're getting an attitude house order anyways these are really um a fun thing to pick up as well so yeah these are the attitude house hand bouquet rich butter hand masks and i'm just gonna leave this on for like 20 minutes and come right back okay so i'm gonna take this off now and it's good to save these um gloves because you can use them for other things over and over again and as you can see my hands look really like wet and um, they feel really like soft and moisturized and you could like rub this extra essence like on your arms or on your legs but yeah I really like it and it really helps my cuticles as well because it has shea butter in it I just thought I would share it with you but right now I'm going to show you a DIY method that I often use as well like when my hands get dry from maybe doing the dishes without gloves or if it's winter um, for various reasons and yeah I'll just show you now so I'm just going to put this to the side Okay, so for this DIY um, hand mask, all you need is some type of lotion, whatever is your favorite. Um, I'm really loving this one right now. It's by Lalia. I believe you can get it online. Um, it says Sugared Pastel Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I really, really love it. It's four ounces in here. I believe it was around $20, I think. Um, maybe it was more, but it's worth it. Like, I really, really love it. It has a nice smell. It has, like, a really nice creamy moisturizing texture. And it doesn't leave, like, that weird after feel that some lotions leave behind. Like, that strange film on your hands. It's just really smooth and perfect. I love it. Um, it's very, very similar to L'Occitane's Shea Butter um lotion so yeah if you can't find this definitely get the L'Occitane one so the other thing that you need for this is some cling wrap and you just need two squares big enough to fit your hands um like double So I just have my square of cling wrap here just hanging off the table and you also want to get some foil, um, any type of foil will do, you just need another square. You take your lotion, whatever type you want to use, and you put like a big dollop of it 
more than you would normally put on one hand and you might need someone to help you with the second hand and then you just take your cleaning wrap and you just wrap your hand with it make sure it's nice and tight like that then you take your foil and just cover it the other way to do it is to get um, like a lot of saran wrap and like just constantly wrap your hand like a few times and the same thing with the foil so you can like wrap up your hand really good and tight just scrunch it at the wrist part and scrunch it at the finger part and it'll be nice and tight and you'll have like a little alien mitten thing <laughs> it looks really weird but it works really well the um, saran wrap keeps in all the moisture and doesn't allow it to like um, evaporate and the foil creates a little bit of heat under there it keeps in your body heat um, and allows the lotion or oils or whatever you put onto your hands to penetrate more deeply into your skin and it um, I noticed that it makes the skin feel softer when you add the foil so yeah, that's what I like to do for my DIY hand mask. I know it looks really, really strange, but it does work, so try it out. The only thing with this compared to the other um, hand mask from Attitude House is that you can't really do anything when you have these on. So try to like put on a movie or a drama or something on your computer before you start so you can have something to occupy you for like 20 minutes. I like to keep this on for like 15 to 20 minutes and then when you take it off your skin is really soft and you can also try this on your feet as well it's really really great for like cracked heels or preventing cracked heels if you do this once a week really really great especially in like colder times or dry um, climates so yeah give it a try And my hands feel like amazingly soft and this really helps like with my cuticles keeping them from like peeling so you can find shea butter at your local health food store usually um, sometimes at like African markets as well um, you can find the hand bouquet products from ebay usually or um, maybe you can google it but yeah that's about it so i'll see you in my next video bye